I am always aware of how the Road Scholarship transformed my life in a way that nothing else could have changed me. I had a sense of clarity and a sense that I could locate myself in a world of people all pursuing work that they felt was important, uh, that would somehow relate to mine. You have one chance in life. You've been given all of these resources, make good use of it. I found that very inspiring. It was just a completely life-defining experience. Just this anchoring in fighting the world's fight, this notion that we can promote and celebrate leadership on the world stage and that we're each expected to make quite a meaningful contribution. One of the things that I've really noticed is just the impact of Rhodes Scholars in all of their fields. From scientists to engineers to lawyers to doctors, leaders in business, leaders in law, leaders in finance, leaders in, in countries, leaders in, in administrations. I take every opportunity to speak to current scholars. I have to tell you one thing. I am yet to meet an older scholar who does not ask the following question. Could I possibly have won the scholarship if these guys had been around? You want the next generation to be better than you. You want to feel that there's hope and there's promise for the country. They are so very bright, so very full of ideas. They are truly inspiring. I see these young people who really think that they can change the world, and I think some of them will. It makes me reevaluate. Should I not be doing more with what I've been given? And I look at them and think, I need to up my game. <laughs> it's not a scholarship of, um, of need, right? It's a scholarship of merit. So one would hope that you achieve much more than you would have otherwise. I think the values that stand behind the Rhodes Scholarship are just as relevant today as they were a hundred odd years ago. And I believe that Rhodes Scholars themselves will ensure that the heritage carries on. In effect, the trust was passed back to the scholars to be responsible for. Ten of our 15 trustees now are Rhodes Scholars. So this is a turning point in confidence to inspire us to think creatively, to think expansively about what might be possible with the Rhodes Scholarships and the Rhodes Trust in the course of the decades ahead. We're going to make this uh, as transformational for others in the future as it's been for us. We all have to get behind it and support it. I think that, to me, is the essence of, of what Cecil Rhodes was trying to achieve with his scholarship, was to, to build a lifelong commitment to positive change among the people who received the, the award. We have a tremendous debt that we owe, a, a real debt of gratitude. Rhodes has been the most transformative experience of my life. I remember the Rhodes Scholarship because it's at heart what I am today. Maybe one of the best things I got out of my, my experience was what my wife likes to call uh, the attitude of gratitude. That's, uh, that's a real gift. What's the role of a Rhodes Scholar once they leave Oxford? I guess that's up for each individual to decide and ultimately it's based on what their own personal experience has been. Um, and I think that's the way it should be. Personally, the effect on my life has been so transformational that anything the trust asks of me, I have to say yes. <laughs>